welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to compare these two Biore sunscreen. Yes, um, it is pronounced as Biore. I did a little research. Nox research. But yes, because I think um, last video, not not last video, but katong isa na ko ka Biore video, I think I mispronounce it. And if I still mispronounce it, I am very sorry, but I think I am 95% sure na Biore ang pagpronounce. Wait, before we start comparing these two sunscreens, I already did a review on this one. Not really like review, but more like first impression review. So I will just put the link in the description box so that you guys can check it out if you want to check it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you guys the application or like what it looks like at the back of my head. Then after, we will apply it on each side of my face. So let's put on the watery essence. So that's the watery essence. Now let's put on the watery gel. As you can see, I haven't pressed any burrow. I did not press the like the bottle. And like would drip gitcha. And the watery gel is runny good. Young consistency, it's a bit runny compared to the watery essence. And if you could look closely, I don't know if it's obvious in the camera or in the screen, but now I'll show you white particles compared to the watery essence like it's solid paste not really like super solid paste but it's solid it's more solid compared to as you can see look at the watery gel it's so watery now i'm gonna spread the watery gel uh see now she mga puti puti i don't know if it's really obvious And now let's start um, spreading the watery essence. So as you can see, must ni absorb quickly on watery essence compared to the gel. And this is more invisible compared to the watery gel. So this is the watery essence and this is the watery gel. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply each sunscreen on each side of my face. So on this part, I'm going to apply the watery essence and on this part, I'm going to apply the watery gel. I'm just going to put it directly, huh? Wait, let's put some more of it all. Okay. And after this, I'm going to turn off my ring light so that you guys could really see the, uh, the difference. Okay, so this is the, again, this is the watery essence. Closer look, wait, close up, close up, close up. Now let's apply the watery gel. Let's shake it first, let's shake it. Oh, 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 oh. So now I'm applying the watery gel. So both of these sunscreens have again SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. See, like right off the bat, you could really tell it the difference. This is invisible. Of course, you could tell that I am applying sunscreen. But this one, it's really obvious. I think um, it's like white cast. Like, after you apply it, you your skin or your face looks whiter. I know I look weird, but anyway, as you can see, this one is like whiter compared to this side. And again, this is the watery essence and this is the watery gel. So right off the bat, I could really tell 
na ang kaniyang watery gel could really make uh, your face whiter because. But this watery essence doesn't give you that. Now I'm gonna turn off my ring light so that you guys could really tell the difference. This is the watery gel, see? And this is the watery essence. Now let's do a flashback photography test. So based from the photos, it a white cast niya or lehang flashback because of watery gel. It's not really like super obvious, but it's there. So you could really tell that it gives a bit of flashback compared to the watery essence. Now I'm gonna give you guys my full thoughts on these two sunscreens. So both of these products have SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus, and both of these sunscreens are lightweight. Now the question is, which one do I think na okay siya for under makeup? Definitely this watery essence. I'm not saying that you cannot use this. Huh? It really depends on you. But if you were to ask me, I'd rather go for the watery essence as for my under makeup. Also, the watery essence absorbs quickly to my skin. It doesn't really, it's not tacky compared to the watery gel. It's a bit tacky, but not heavy, just tacky. This one, it's just like literally water. Although watery gel is a niche, I know, but the watery essence really absorbs quickly to your skin. It's just like, like that. But this watery gel, this is like, I think you can put this on your face and on your body compared to the watery essence. I, I mean, of course, you can put this on your body, man, you know, you can, you can put, the, you can apply this, you can use this like all over your body and of course your face. But for me, I would use watery gel on my body and watery essence on my face. I don't know if that makes sense, but this serves as like my, like, on body, perhaps it's just on face, but more like body nisha, and this one, face. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna end my comparison video here. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.